The new Pokemon DLC is just days away, and this video is going to give you everything you need to be prepared and everything you need to know for the Indigo Disc DLC. Let's dive in. All right, if you've been living under a crustal, the Indigo Disc DLC is releasing on December 14th. However, we are anticipating that it may release earlier here in the United States. Expect something like 8 p.m. Eastern time the night before. This does look like it's going to be a global launch. So again, keep your eyes and ears open. You can check me out on Twitter if you want to get a proper update. It's not confirmed yet exactly what time it's going to launch. But again, be prepared the night of the 13th. That's generally when these types of things are going to throw down. We've also got Pokemon Home Maintenance, which is undergoing maintenance at 0 UTC on the 14th until 6 UTC on the 15th. They're going to also release version 3.2.1 during this maintenance window. This may also be some sort of a clue in terms of when we can expect this DLC dropping. Now, if you already had the Teal Mask DLC, you don't have to do anything additional for the Indigo Disc. But if you don't have either of them, you can go to the eShop and you can purchase it. I would just recommend you're very careful and make sure you grab the right version of game. If you're on Scarlet, make sure you get the Scarlet one. If you're on Violet, make sure you get the Violet one. It is possible to buy the wrong version, which is kind of a mess. So just make sure you're careful in the eShop if you haven't bought the DLCs yet. I'll also be streaming for this event, so you can check me out on twitch.tv slash adrive at any point. I'll try to be live as much as I can to have fun playing Indigo Disc. One of the big things in the Indigo Disc, and this is a little bit of a spoiler warning, is it seems as though Applin is going to get some new love. So if you haven't done so yet, I highly recommend getting yourself a shiny Applin and evolving it into a shiny Diplin just to be prepared for whatever may come in the Indigo Disc DLC. You can also get the Syrup Apple to evolve your Applin, which is in the far bottom right corner of Kitakami. Now it's worth noting that you have not beaten the Teal Mask DLC yet. You do actually need to beat it in order to advance to the Indigo Disc. So we believe that the final kind of checkpoint there is the boss battle against Karma. Mine. So that's the last fight of the DLC is this boss battle against Carmine and Loyalty Plaza and you have to have Ogre Pond on your team to make this challenge. So I recommend playing up to that point for the Teal Mask DLC in order to unlock the full Blueberry Academy. It's our understanding that you're not going to be able to do it until you beat the Teal Mask as some of the story events that take place in the Indigo Disc are actually kind of launch padding off of things that happen in Teal Mask. Now this is a point that I like to emphasize a lot and I think it's so crucial we saw the Teal Mask was about six hours long from start to finish. It seems as though the Indigo Disc is going to offer more gameplay. The map is certainly bigger from what we've seen. It's, it's a lot bigger than Kitakami. So we're expecting it to be a little bit longer. And I think just naturally by way of what they're introducing into the game, there's going to be more gameplay value out of that. But I do want to emphasize, take your time. Enjoy it. Take your sweet time. You only get to play something for the first time one time. This is your opportunity to have a brand new Pokemon experience for probably the, the last time for another year until the next Pokemon game releases, probably next fall. So you'll have a lot to explore, a lot to kind of adventure around in this new Terrarium. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of cool story, some side quests we understand, lots of good stuff there. Just take your time and enjoy the DLC. I'll always recommend that. Based on the reviews that we've seen, it seems as though the Terrarium is going to feature a number, number of double battles. So if you're not a VGC player, this is your time to brush up your skills, get yourself ready, train up some Pokemon for VGC or double battle style. It's our understanding that these teams are going to be very, very solid. Like they're going to be bringing some competitive strategies and some of the battles in the Terrarium are actually going to be a little harder than a lot of players might be used to. There's a really cool resource called Picolytics that I used to use when I competed in VGC and it's going to give you the most popular Pokemon, their usage stats, the common held items, the common EV spreads, as well as common partner Pokemon that can pair with these different things. So for example, on Picolytics, I can pull up Tornadus and I can see that Prankster Tailwind is a main move that it utilizes and it's often paired with Fluttermane or Urshifu Rapid Strike. I can then look into those particular Pokemon and understand the most optimal move sets for them. And while you may not have a full team of six VGC Pokemon ready, you can at least set up some strategies of some duo pairs, some Pokemon that can sit next to each other and complement each other very well, which will just give you a better opportunity to beat these tough double battle trainers in the terrarium if you missed it there's a few different events that are going on right now one of which is you can get a shiny lucario you can use the code shiny buddy that's going until the beginning of next year and then more pressing is the code for dark rye new moon is coming and that's only running for about nine days from this video so make sure you grab your dark rye make sure you grab your shiny lucario two awesome friends to join you in the dlc 
With the Terrarium is going to come a handful of new Pokemon, including new outbreaks, and we're going to have regional forms and all sorts of stuff. So this might be a good opportunity for you to grab some more sandwich ingredients, do those raids, get yourself ready to go for any potential shiny hunting you may want to do. I would also recommend stocking up on Quick Balls and various Pokeballs to catch Pokemon relatively quickly. Might be a good idea to have a False Swiper, someone with Spore or Accurate Sleep Powder, some way to quickly catch Pokemon as there will likely be some sort of reward reward for completing the blueberry academy pokedex it was an item called the glimmering charm and the teal mask which increased the terror shards if i'm not mistaken we're expecting something new for indigo disc and while it's not confirmed generally there's a reward for completing the pokedex and there may be one for completing all the pokedexes so it may be worth just being prepared and catching things as you see them we do know that there's going to be a slew of new and returning moves from previous generations that are going to allow Pokemon to be a lot stronger, like Expanding Force, Triple Axle, and then some new moves like Upper Hand, Psychic Noise, etc. I believe this is all done with a new point system that's going to be obtained in the Terrarium, so I don't think there's a ton that you can do to prepare for it, but just want to put it on your radar. It seems as though this new kind of point system is going to allow you to in like invite gym leaders and all sorts of people into the terrarium and into the battle system so there's some really cool little features that are coming in the indigo disc like we saw that you can trade for eono's magnemite so some really cool stuff there so gather those points and then use them wisely when the time comes there is a slew of legendary pokemon returning to the game and it seems as though you're going to be able to utilize the mainland of paldea to hunt down these legendary pokemon through some cool little mechanics so we'll have to see how that all shakes out but we do have a list of all of the legendaries that are returning and this could be our first opportunity to shiny hunt a handful of them like Cubfu, Glacier, and Spectrier specifically. These Pokemon have not been shiny huntable prior so this will be the opportunity to grab those. So do whatever you need to do to get yourself ready to potentially hunt these shiny Pokemon. Like I said be ready with various Pokeballs and then the Pokemon that can help defeat them or bring them down to a low amount of HP to ultimately capture them. And if you weren't aware there is a raid going on right now until the 21st that's going to feature Dialga and Palkia Terra raids you can go into those you can farm the items from those ultimately that's going to help you accomplish a handful of different things on this list and in this video that I mentioned so that could be something to occupy your time over the next few days as you get yourself prepared for the Indigo Disc DLC this DLC is looking pretty straightforward and it should be a lot of fun you're going to want to make sure you beat the teal mask first so take the time to finish up that if you haven't done so yet and of course I just want to re-emphasize enjoy the DLC again you only get to play through something new for the first time one time and I'm sure you want to enjoy it and experience it in a special way so take your time enjoy it you can hang out with me on my live stream or catch a bunch of footage here on YouTube make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and like the video if you found this helpful let me know if you have any other comments or any other thoughts in the comment section below to help out other players who may be getting into the DLC and maybe want to be prepared let us know in the comment section below otherwise I hope you guys have an awesome day thanks for checking this one out and I'll see you guys soon